We continue now at the top of Daphne and Zion. I'm based in Maseches Gitten. This is Gitten Da 57b. The Gemara is continuing to discuss the killings that occurred at the time of the destruction of the second base on Mikdash. Amr Rabbi Baravin, Amr Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha. Rabbi Baravin says that Rabbi Yoshua ben Karcha says, Sochli Zokin Echel Meanshi Rushalayim, one of the elders from the people of Yerushalayim related to me as follows, But Bikazu in this valley, Horag Nivuzradun Rav Tabochim, Nivuzradun, who was the captain of the guard, he killed Masayim Viachas Esrei Ribo, he killed 211,000 people. Over Yerushalayim, Horag Tishim Viarbo Ribo, and Yerushalayim, he killed 94,000. Eleven achas on one stone. At shaholach domon v'naga b'domo shel zacharia until their blood went and it touched the blood of zacharia. Lakayim mashenemar to fulfill what it says in the pasuk v'domim b'domim nagu that the blood would touch the blood. Ashkechei l'dmei de zacharia and it found the blood of zacharia. He found rather and it was rather and found the blood of zacharia. Davik kamir sach v'solik that it was bubbling up. Amar mai hai. So he said, what's going on over here? Amrule they said to him dam zavochim de shtapech. It's the blood of carbonus that is spilled over here. I see dami v'loidmu. So he brought the blood of animals and he compared it and it didn't compare. It clearly was not the blood of Karbanus. Amar Lu, so he said to them, If you tell me whose blood this is, then good. And if not, I'm going to have iron combs and I'm going to apply them to your flesh. Amri Le, they said to him, My name Allah, what can we tell you? This was a prophet among us and he would rebuke us in heavenly matters. So therefore we went against him and we killed him. And many years already, his blood has not been settled. Amar Luhu, so he said to them, Nevuzradan said, I know Mephaisanali, I'm going to calm him. I see Sanhedrin Gedola with Sanhedrin Ketana, he brought the major Sanhedrin and the minor Sanhedrin, Katali Lavi, and he killed them over the blood of Zacharia. Velonach, but still the blood did not rest. Bechurim, Vesulos, Katali Lavi, he killed young men and women. Velonach, and still the blood did not rest. I see Tinoko Shobes Rabban Katali Lavi, he brought children and he killed them. Velonach, and still the blood did not rest. Amar Le, so Nevuzradan said to him, Zacharia, Zacharia, Tovim Shabbat. And he vowed to him. He said, "Zachariah, Zachariah, I've killed the best of them." Do you want me to kill all of them? When he said this to him, so then Nach at that time the blood rested. Now at that moment, here at Shuvah Bedaitin, it was Radon thought to himself to do Teshuva. Amar, he said, Umayim al nefesh achas kach, if something, if such happens over the killing of one individual, ahu gavra dekot al kol hani nishmasa, so somebody who's killed so many people, meaning myself, I've killed so many, alachas kama vekama, look at the punishment that's going to happen to me. Arak azel shadr shtar pirta so beveise, so he fled, and he sent a document detailing what to do with his possessions to his household, v'igayir, and he converted. And the Gemara says, Tanit was taught, Namun ger toshev haya. Namun was a ger toshev, means to say, he wasn't a full ger, he was just a ger who accepted the Sheva Mitzvah B'nai Noach and lived and resided in Eretz Yisrael. Nivuz Radun ger tzedek but Nivuz Radun, he was a full ger. Mi b'nei bonav shal Haman lavdu Torah b'nei brach, from the descendants of Haman, the descendants of Haman, they learned Torah b'nei brach. Mi b'nei bonav shal Sisra lavdu Tinokos b'yerushalayim, the descendants of Sisra, they taught children, school children in Yerushalayim. Mi b'nei bonav shal Sancheirev, the descendants of Sancheirev, limdu Torah b'rab, they taught Torah publicly. Man inun, and who were these descendants of Sancheirev? Shemaya ve'avtalion. It's Shemayan and Avtalion. And the Gemara now comments, Hainu Dechsiv. Now, this is what's written in the Pasuk. This whole episode with the blood of Zechariah is alluded to in the Pasuk. Nasati es damat schiach sela. I have set her blood upon the bare rock. Levilti kosos that it should not be covered. And the Gemara continues. The Pasuk says, Hakol kol Yaakov hayadayim yidei Esav. The voice is the voice of Yaakov, and the hands are the hands of Esav. And the Gemara explains, Hakol, what does it mean, the voice over here? Ze'adjerainus Kesar, this refers to the Caesar Hadrian, Shaharag Balexandria Shal Mitzrayim, that he killed in Alexandria of Egypt, Shishim Ribo Al Shishim Ribo, 600,000 upon 600,000, Keflayim Kiyotse Mitzrayim, double the amount of the people that left Mitzrayim, meaning to say he caused the Jewish people to call out, to scream out, because of all of the killing that he did against them. And the Gemara continues, Kol Yaakov again, it said the voice of Yaakov, what does that refer to? It also refers to as follows, is that Aspasianus Kesar, it refers to the Caesar, the Caesar Vespasian, Shaharag Bekrach Beitar Arba Meos Ribo, that he killed in the city of Beitar, 4 million people, Viamri La Arba Asal Payim Ribo, and some say it was 40 million people, Vayadayim Yudei Esav, and the hands are the hands of Esav, Zumalchus Arisha, this refers to the wicked kingdom, that's the kingdom of Rome, Sheikh Riva Esbatenu, Besarfa Seicholenu, Viglisonu Meyartz that destroyed our house, our Beis Hamikdash, and burned down our palace and exiled us from our land. 
And the Gemara continues, Davarachar, another explanation, Hakol Kol Yaakov. What does it mean, Hakol Kol Yaakov? Ein Lecha Tfila Shemoeles Shein Ba Mizara Shal Yaakov. There is no Tfila, there's no prayer that is effective that doesn't have some element coming from the children of Yaakov. Vayadayim Yedei Esav, and the hands of the hands of Esav. Ein Lech Melchama Shenotzachas. There's no victory in war, Shein Ba Mizara Shal Esav, that doesn't have some component from the descendants of Esav. And the Gemara continues, Vahainu Dama Rebbe Lazar, and that's what Rebbe Lazar said. The Pasuk says, Beshot Lashon Teichave, and all of this will be explained by Rashi, but the Gemara interprets the Pasuk to mean because of the quarrels of the tongue, that's why you will need to hide. And the Gemara continues, Amar of Yehud, Amar Rav, Rav Yehuda said that Rav said, what does it mean when it's written in the Pasuk, Al Naros Bavel, Shom Yashavnu Gam Bochinu Bezachreinu as Sion, we cried by the rivers of Bavel when, when we remembered Sion, Malami, this teaches, Shehereu HaKadosh Baruch Hu LeDavid Churban Bayes Rishon, Vechurban Bayes Sheni, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu showed David HaMelech the destruction of the first base on Mikdash and the destruction of the second base on Mikdash. Churban Bayes Rishon, Shenemar, the destruction of the first base on Mikdash, as it says in the Pasuk, Al Naros Bavel, Shom Yashavnu Gam Bochinu, that's referring to the destruction of the first base on Mikdash, and by Yesheni Dechsev in the second base on Mikdash, as it's written in the Pasuk, Zachor Hashem Levnei Edom as Yom Yerushalayim, HaOmrim Aru Aru Ara Yesod Ba, and again that's referring to the destruction of the second base on Mikdash. And Rashi explains, again, the Gemara said, Vahainu Damar of Elazar. What does it mean? This is what Rebbe Lazar said, meaning, Hada Amrina Lael. This is referring to what we said earlier, Shal Yedei Lashon Hara Charav Habayis, that it was because of the sin of Lashon Hara that the Beis HaMikdash was destroyed. Venergu Kama Rivavos, and many thousands of people were killed because of that. That's the interpretation of the Pasuk. Again, the Pasuk says, Beshot Lashon. We'll skip one Rashi for a moment. Shot Lashon means to say, Shevet Maka. The literal meaning of the Pasuk means you're being hit by a stick. But we interpret it to mean bechirchure lashon, meaning bemerivas lashon, with the quarrels of the tongue. Again, that causes us to need to hide. That's the cause of this destruction. And the Gemara continues. Amar Rav Yehuda, Mar Shmuel. Rav Yehuda says that Shmuel says vitem Rav Yami, and some say it's Rav Yami that says it. Vyami lo b'masnis atona, and some say that it was taught in a brisa. Ma'isa v'dalad meos yuladim v'yulados. There was an incident with four hundred boys and girls. Shenishbu lekalon that they were captured for purposes of prostitution. Hergishu be'atzman l'mahin misbakshim and they realized what it was that they were that they were being taken for. Amru they said imanu tovin bayam if we drown in the sea anu boin l'chayo olam haba we're going we're going to come and we're going to receive the reward of life in the world to come of olam haba. Darash lehen agadol shabhen and the oldest among them darshin as follows. The pasuk says Amr Hashem mi boshan. Ashiv Hashem says from Bashan I will return. Ashiv Mitsulas Yam, I'll return them from the depths of the sea. And we understand that to mean Mi Bashan Ashiv. What does it mean, Mi Bashan Ashiv? It means Mi Bain Shine Arya Ashiv. I'm going to return them from the teeth of a lion. Mi Mitsulas Yam, and what does it mean, Mi Mitsulas Yam? Elu Shatovin Bayam, these are those who drown at the sea, meaning to say he was darshaning that Akarish Barhu, those who give their lives up in order not to commit the Avera, they're going to be returned to Hashem, they're going to receive this reward of Olam Haba. Kevon Shashamu Yuladas Kachan, when the girls heard this, Kafzu Kulon, Vinaflu Lasochayam, they all jumped and they, they fell into the sea. Nasu Yuladim Kalvachomer Biatsman, and so the boys, they made a Kalvachomer about themselves, Viamru, and they said, Mahalolu Shadarkon Lakach Kach. If by the girls, it's their way to have relations in this kind of situation, yet they're willing to give up their lives. So we, who it's not our way to do this, so certainly we should give up our lives. So they also, they jumped into the sea. It's about them that the Pasuk says, that we were like sheep to the slaughter. And the Gemara continues, Rav Yehuda, Rav Yehuda says, Zu Isha Veshiva Bana, this Pasuk, Ki Alecha Uragnu Kalayom, it's really a reference to the woman with her seven sons. The story is as follows, Asiu Kamo Lekame De Kesar, they brought the first, the, the first child, the first son in front of the Caesar. Amru Lein, they said to him, Plach Lavodas Kochavim Bao, serve the Avodas Zara. Amr Alu, he said to them, Kosu Betorah, it says in the Torah, Anochi Hashem Alokecha, it says Anochi Hashem Alokecha, and therefore you can't serve Avodas Zara. So they took him out and they killed him. Then they brought the next son in front of the Caesar. Amrulay, they said to him, Serve the Avod Zara. Amrulay said to them, It says in the Torah, Again, it says you can't have other gods. 
therefore not allowed to serve Avodah Zarah. Afku v'katzalu, so they took him out and they killed him. Asiu li'idach, they brought the third son. Amru le'i, they said to him, Plach l'avodah z'kochavim, serve the avodah z'aro. Amar lo'i said to them, Kosu v'torah zovech l'alem yacharam. Again, talking about the fact you can't serve avodah z'aro. Afku v'katlu, they took him out and they killed him. Asiu li'idach, they brought the next son. Amru le'i, Plach l'avodah z'kochavim, they said, serve avodah z'aro. Amar lo'i said to them, Kosu v'torah lo'sishtach v'lel achar, it says in the Torah, you can't bow to other gods. Afku v'katlu, they took him out and they killed him. As you lead, they brought the next son. Amr lay plach lavodas kochav, and they said, Serve avodas zara. Amr lui said to them, Kosav v'torah Shema Yisrael, Hashem alokeinu Hashem echad. It says Shema Yisrael. There's only one God. Afku v'katlu, they took him out and they killed him. As you lead, they brought the next son. Amr lay plach lavodas kochav, and they said to him, Serve avodas zara. Amr lui said to them, Kosav v'torah v'yadata hayom hashivos alavavecho ki Hashem hu elokim Hashem is the God. Ba'shemayim imal v'alorot mitochas enod. In the heavens and on the earth, there's none. There's none other. Afku v'katlu, they took him out and they killed him. Asu leidach, they brought the next son. Amru le plach lavodas kocham, they said serve avodas zara. Amru lui said to them, Kasev b'Torah, it says in the Torah, as Hashem hamart v'gomer v'Hashem hamircha hayom. It says you you have selected Hashem. Hashem has selected you. Kavar nishbanu la kodesh baruch hu shein anu mavir no so be'alachar. We've already made an oath to kodesh baruch that we're not going to give him up for a different god. And he's made an oath, a promise to us, not to give us up for another nation. So the Caesar said to this final son, I'll throw down my seal and bend down to pick it up. take it. That way at least they'll say, the person has accepted over himself, that you have accepted over yourself the authority of the king. Amar lay, so the child said, the son said, Chavol Olach Kesar, Chavol Olach Kesar, woe is to you, the Caesar, woe is to you, the Caesar. Al Kvod Atzmo Chakach, Al Kavad HaKadosh Baruch, Al Achaz Kama Vekama, you're so concerned about your own honor, so much more so we should be concerned with the honor of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Afku, Lemiktale, so they took him out in order to kill him. Amru Luhu Ime, so the, the mother said, she said to them, Yehavu Nihili, V'inshake Porsa, give him to me, I'll kiss him a little bit. Amra lo, and she said to Bonai lechu v'imru la Avram avichem. She said, "My sons, go say to Avram your father, I taught karatam is mizbeach echod, vani akarati shiva mizbachos. You had one sacrifice, referring to the akeda. I already have had seven sacrifices. Afi also the gag v'nafel of a mason. She also went up to the roof and she fell off of it and she died, meaning to say that because of this difficult situation that happened to her, she killed herself." Yotz the Baskol, Yomar the Baskol came out and said, Aim Habonim Semecha, the mother of the sons is happy. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi, Yomar Rabbi Yeshua ben Levi says, This Pasuk again, Ki Alecha Horagnu, Zumila Shenitna Bishmini, this is a reference to the Brismila given on the eighth day. And we will take a look at a few Rashis over here. Shadark and Lakach, again, the boy said that the girls, they're accustomed to this and still they gave up their lives. Meaning, what are they accustomed to? Latashmish, they're accustomed to having relations in this way. Vin Klon and Meruba, Kekol and Shalonu. It's not as much of a disgrace to them as it would be to us. Zuisha, Horagno Kalayom. Again, a second explanation. What is the Pasuk, Horagno Kalayom? It refers to this woman with her children. Hamarta means Icharta. Again, you designated, we designated HaKadosh Baruch Hu as, as God. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu designated the cloud. Yisrael as his nation. Koshpanka is chosme, that refers to the seal, my seal. Shetsurasi tvubo, that's the seal that the king was on, the Caesar was on. Kadesh te nira mishtachevel, he wanted to make it at least look like that the child was bowing to it. Hermona de Malko, Shultonas Hamelech, Kibul Olav Lassos, meaning you're accepting the authority of the king. And then we have another explanation. What is the Pasuk Yolach Horagnu Zumila? It refers to Brismila, Horagnu Kalayom, the Zimnan Demais, meaning we accept this mitzvah of Brismila, but sometimes it causes death. And that's the idea, Kiolech Horagnu Kalayom. And the Gemara continues, Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish, Omar, Rabbi Shimon ben Lakish says, this Pasuk again, Horagnu Kalayom, Elu Talmide Chachomim, Shemarn Hilchas Shechita Biatzman. It's a reference to the Talmide Chachomim, that they want to show the laws of Shechita and they use their own necks as a demonstration, meaning to say that's a dangerous thing to do. They could accidentally cut their necks. And that's what the Pasuk is referring to. The Yomar Rav, because Rav says, Kalmili Lichsi Inish Benafshe, a person can demonstrate everything using himself, Bar Mishchita, except for Shechita Vidavar Acher, and another thing. And Rashi explains, Bar Mishchita, except for Shechita, Shema Yitzchavenu Begrono, again, maybe the person accidentally will end up cutting himself, cutting his throat. And what's Davar Acher, what's the other thing you can't demonstrate on yourself? It means Tsaras, Umaros Nagam, it's talking about Tsaras, Mimnesha Mesukan Likfot's Olav, because when he demonstrates that, he puts himself in danger from the Tsaras. 
And the Gemara continues, Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak, Amar Rav Nachman Bar Yitzchak says, Eilu Talmidei Chachamim, this Pasuk Yolecha Uragnu Kalayom, it refers to Talmidei Chachamim, Shem Emisen Atzman Al Divrei Torah, that they kill themselves over learning Torah, Kid Rabbi Shimon Ben Lakish. As Rabbi Shimon Ben Lakish explains, Do Amar Rabbi Shimon Ben Lakish, because Rabbi Shimon Ben Lakish says, Ein Divrei Torah Meskayim and Elo B'mi, Shem Emis Atzma Aleim. The Torah is only maintained with somebody who kills himself over learning the Torah. Shem Emar, as the Pasuk says, Zos HaTorah Adam Ki Yomus Ba'ol. The Pasuk talks about the Torah. And it says, Adam ki yomus ba'oel, a person has to sacrifice in order to effectively learn Torah. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav Barachan, Amar Rav Yochanan, Rav Barachan, it says that Rav Yochanan says, Our boy saw 40 saw, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video. And Daf Nun Ches, Amar Aleph.